Has, next time we do rap before we start an episode. That's what Elaine said. We should rap. No, not rap. We put on music. Oh. To get into the mood. Okay. The mood. The mood. Yeah, it's uh, New Year. <laughs> Happy New Year! Yeah, and um, today actually happens to be the anniversary, second anniversary of this particular channel. I mean, the channel existed since 20-something, but it was 2020 that I decided to start vlogging. So this is the second anniversary, exactly today. My first video came out. So yeah. Applause clap for, clap for yourself. Yes, done really well. And um, so we're going to start the year, the year on a very light note. My name is Kwame and I'm a filmmaker. If this is your first time on the channel, uh, I'm also a voice actor and this is my wife. Hi, I'm Elaine. Elaine does what? <laughs> <laughs> it's too long to explain. <laughs> okay, so today we're going to start on a very, you know, light note. Um, something a little fun, rather than, you know, our usual... Well, we don't know if it's going to be fun. Our usual reflective, you know, much more... Uh, is it deep? It's just reflective side. So today, yeah, we're going to do something a bit more fun. Uh, we're going to talk about the pet fun, peeves. Fun, fun. Yes. Pet peeves. The things that annoy... Okay, you're going to define it? Yeah, so pet peeves are the things that annoy you, but they annoy you excessively. So they're things specific to one person. So the things that are... Throwing you off. Okay. Like... They can be annoying, but in relation to you, they are excessive. That's what yes. pet peeves are. Yeah. So for you in particular, it almost hurts you when it happens. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Pet peeves have been defined, and uh, we're going to talk, or we're going to try and guess um each other's pet peeves we've thought about three of them each and um we're gonna try and guess it Bef so the other person guess tries to guess the three before the person, person says shares. It. yeah and then yes. you have to i don't know are you going to defend it not defend but you can explain why it annoys so excessively okay so okay. So Kwame is gonna try to guess yours, mine, about him. So the things that you are thinking that I do that, that annoys you very much. Yes. So let's see how self-reflective you are. <laughs> no pressure. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay. Are you ready? Yeah, I, I'm thinking already, and I'm you already. You can't think of anything. <laughs> no, nothing comes. To, like, I mean, come on. I do remember that. There are some things that I do that annoy you, but not anything in... Hmm. I think people who watch the vlogs know a few. <laughs> really? Yeah. Oh, I think I said I did one in our previous one of our videos. But just guess. Come on. What is number one? Nothing. Nothing is coming. Um, why am I looking in the kitchen? Uh, I tried to run. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay, I think walking away from arguments. No, that's not a pet peeve. Oh, come on. And I know you need your time to breathe sometimes, so it's fine. Okay. Maybe I should just share my list because this is going nowhere. <laughs> Give me a clue. <laughs> uh, connectivity. <laughs> that should be throwing me completely off. Connectivity. Mm. Mm. <laughs> no, okay, fine. You have to do your list because I'm not okay, able well, to guess. Alright, I can say device. Device? Oh! <laughs> <laughs> okay. Number one. Number one. Okay, the top most. Uh, the okay. Annoying thing. Phone. Yes. My phone. Crime is always. I'm not kidding. <laughs> Always on its phone. Always. I have to compete with the phone. No, you're not Who's competing with the phone. Come on, look. Get the attention span. Is it either Twitter, Instagram, Tumblr, Facebook? I don't all do these Tumblr. Things. Yeah, okay, but. And then when I say something about it, it's like, yeah, 
but it has to be connected because I get a lot of gigs through my phone. Yeah, but that's why I'm working. And I get that, but it doesn't mean if you answer two minutes later that the gig has flown away. It's also okay to do one thing, focus on one thing, and not be always be like grabbing your phone. So that's number one. Number two, do you want to guess or? Clue, I, give me a clue. Okay, I said it actually yesterday, or maybe the day before yesterday. I'm gonna say light. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's serious? It's a bit of a, it's an example of what you are. I'm always leaving the lights on. Yeah, so Kwame forgets things. So <laughs> I once did an experiment. He drank a club beer and he put it on our kitchen counter. I was like, let me see how long he stays there before he decides to throw it away or put it in the thing. But you're saying lights. Yes, but it's, let me finish. Okay, okay. Five days. Five days, the club can, or the, the thing was no. on the counter. Yes, five days. No, yes. I don't believe so this. So the bigger, the second thing is he forgets things. Like, but it's not forgetting. He just, okay, so it's not about a light. It's about me forgetting things in general. Yes, yes. So you forget things in house. And it's not forgetting. He doesn't see them. He didn't see the club thing for five days. Oh. He will just come and forget about it. He doesn't no. even see it. No. And then he leaves it. Well, for me, every time I look in the kitchen, I see that particular club standing there. Out, of the, it should be in the trash or it should be in the, in the thing. Oh, so forgetting things, number two. Number three. Um, <laughs> you want a clue? Yes, okay. number three has to be the least annoying. I'm gonna say wheels. What do I do with it? <laughs> no. Yeah, so my driving is annoying? No, that you criticize my driving. That is annoying. Oh. It's even more than annoying. It's not even a pet peeve. So we have now an establishment in our marriage that whenever we are in the car, I cannot drive because if I'll drive, Kwame will turn into a whole other person who will be shouting and criticizing my driving up to a point that I get so insecure that I make lots of mistakes. So, no. literally we had to come to wow. an agreement that whenever we are going in the car, he's driving because uh, he cannot stand no, my driving. Not everybody knows Kwame is a terrible person. So that's number three. But I'm actually a good driver. If somebody's not like forcefully, looking over my shoulder like, <laughs> I'm scared. So, <laughs> wow. those three things. Everybody yeah, knows coming. you didn't guess any person. of them. I you didn't see them coming. The phone, I, I, slacked, I slacked on the phone because the yeah. phone was the most glaring one. The other ones of leaving things. Is there uh, anything you want to say in your defense? <laughs> no. No. No, I, I can't defend. Mm. The forgetful thing, the forgetfulness of things, I, I, I also can't defend, but it's not my fault. <laughs> <laughs> it's not your fault. It's not my fault. Okay. People, when people reply like that, you know you've hit uh, a point. Okay. Wow. Okay, so three things of me. I'm sweating. Yeah, your sweating was too, too hot for you. Yeah. This, this was, conversation is too hot. Yeah. Okay, th so I have to guess. You have to guess my three things. Okay, one, this washing. <laughs> if you do guess it right, it means that you're very, very reflective and that's not even fair. One, dishwashing. Okay. I, I, yes, dishwashing is right. Okay, I have to explain. Hey, let me, let me say what she does that annoys me. Okay. And it's not just dishwashing. <laughs> okay, so first of all, the dishwashing style, in my opinion, is terrible. Mm-hmm. However, there's one particular thing that she does, especially in the mornings when she's in a hurry to leave for work. So she makes oats. And I hate, I, I just hate oats pans, like when you leave water in it after cooking oats and you leave it because it's, it's sticky. Yes, and a bit gooey and. Uh, yeah. But I have to, in my defense, I often try to. 
Yes, the first one. I often really try to clean it before I go, but sometimes I put it in the sink and then I don't see it anymore and then I run out for work. Oh, so you're also forgetful, my God. Sometimes. <laughs> you also forget I'm things. Not like you, <laughs> you also forget things. Mm. Wow, she forgets and then you tell me I'm the one who's forgetful. And then when she gets to actually washing it, her washing style is she opens the tap. <laughs> You know, you know, okay, fine. I don't know how you wash your dishes wherever you are. You know how you, you, I, I always refer it to how uh, a dishwasher works. If you've seen a dishwasher work before, first, it sprays a lot of the foam and it sits. It actually sits, cleanses, and, you know, cleans out the whole, all the bacteria and everything. It sits for a while. So it's not like the water is running while the soap is running as well, because then you're washing away the soap. So it sits for a while before it pressure pumps everything clean and then it dries. But Elaine's dishwashing is rather leaving the tap on, putting soap in it, and whilst the tap is still running, the soap is, by the time she's, she's done with three plates, it's only water and sponge. Not clean. Mm. In my defense, no. <laughs> <laughs> no. I've adjusted my style now because we've had lots of <laughs> conversations about this. Uh -huh. At some point in a relationship, we had a rule that you cannot comment on the other person's dishwashing. Yeah, because it, was, because it was annoying you that I pointed it out. No, because dishwashing is very culturally decided. Because Dutch people, if you're with me, Dutch people like to make, to fill the sink with water, then add soap and then put all the dishes in, and then wash it in the water that's already in there. Okay. And Dutch people don't rinse. So once you've soaped it, you put it in a thing and the soap will drip off. That's how we wash. In Ghana, you do like you, lots of soap and you rinse, 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 rinse. Because yes. you're eating soap afterwards then. Yes, that's one of the things that uh, Dutch people are criticized for. <laughs> okay. Guess the second yeah. one. Um, I know. Um, brushing teeth. Hey? Yeah. No. Oh. So what did, you, what did you think it was about brushing teeth? Then? So Kwame has all had <laughs> some first critique on how I brush my teeth. Because after when I'm done, I still have toothpaste around my she, face. It's, it's also another cleaning thing that she doesn't wash like... I do that now since he made me aware of it. Yeah. Um, it's like you just spit out and that's it. Just like washing plates, you just put soap on it and that's it. Really shake off my toothbrush well. Yes, and the toothbrush, not even just shaking it, washing the yes, toothbrush. Wash the toothbrush and then and shake shaking it. it. Because then you're relieving the residue from your toothbrushing in the brush without washing it and and, and, and you come and it's yes, just. Yes, but I'm blaming my parents for this. Wow. Blaming you. <laughs> But that wasn't one of my pet peeves. Okay. Um, so give See, me a clue. You've given me four now. Wow. It's about uh, asking. Okay, so sometimes when Kwame offers something and yeah. then he says, yes, I'll do it. Like he wants to drop me off or I ask like, do you want to drop me off? He says, yes. But then, and I say yes, it's fine. It's fine. And then sometimes I'm like, he's really going out of his way to do this, so let me just be sure. Oh, fireworks! Happy New Year! Um, and, so, then and then Elaine, Elaine will ask like a thousand fine. times, are you sure it's okay? Are you sure it's okay? I don't want you to go. I don't want you to go out of your way. Are you sure it's okay? Like 5,000 times even. Oh, I can't. No, stop. It's annoying. Mm. When I said yes, I wanted to go, if usually I'm very straightforward. If I didn't want to do it, I wouldn't offer. And even if you ask politely and I still don't want to do it, I can sometimes tell you no, I don't feel like doing it and I won't go. But if I offer, I didn't even say yes from you asking. I offered. I want to take you to work. I want to take you here. I want to drive you there. And you are still asking, are you, is, it okay? is it okay? Is it okay? Is it okay? Because I don't want to burden you. You're not. If you were burdening me, I wouldn't offer. Mm, okay. Noted. Yeah. No defense. <laughs> you can't defend that. Okay, then third one. I thought it was driving, but maybe not. Yeah, you, you kind of... You kinda, uh, was that the third one? I honestly didn't remember what I was going to do as the third. Mm. So, I guess I'll... Uh, I know, okay, I know the third one. Aside from my driving, which is impeccable, but he never sees it, um, is that I like to... 
bulk up my clothes. So when I'm trying on different things, then I leave it on my chair <laughs> in the room. And he doesn't like that at all. How are you even bringing up things that I didn't think of? But yes, they are annoying. Yes, they are very annoying to you. And then, and I have the rule because uh, my desk is in the bedroom. And then I use my desk chair sometimes to put clothes on it. Uh, but then Kwame comes uh, and he wants to put also clothes on it, but that's not allowed because it's my desk. <laughs> <laughs> so I used to have a pile of clothes. Fine, fine. I'll tell him, no, 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 that's my desk. <laughs> but why would you that's even put a pile of... That's my mess, okay. that's what I say then. Yeah. yeah so, that's so I'm not allowed space, one. it's annoying, but it's not... Ah, ah, ah. He has his own, uh, he has a whole room, eh? That's his office. Eh? Don't don't it's get this studio. twisted. It's a studio. If you want to put your belt there, put your belt there. But don't put things on my desk. I have tiny, tiny, But tiny don't, don't even put stuff on your desk either. Because it it's makes the room out. look... Uh, yes. Uh, so I try now to clean it out every day yeah. or every other day. And most of the times I just have to yeah, go she, she forgets the... as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Somebody no. also forgets They're to clean it out. I am. And I'm busy. I have things to do, you know. Okay. You're busy, you have things okay. to do. So, uh, your list was one, dishwashing, two, we don't remember. <laughs> oh, it's two. You're asking too many times. Oh, asking. And three, the clothes in the room. And the bonus was the toothbrushing. Toothbrushing and driving. Yeah. Even though it's in Tuckable. Right. Yeah. <laughs> okay. To top it off with something nice, the cherry on top of all the pet peeves. We will share something that we have a habit or something we admire that the other person does. Yeah. So you can start. Um, something I, admire, I want you to start. Let me think of <laughs> Let me think of it. Oh. <laughs> okay, something that Elaine does that I admire. Or you aspire or it inspires you. Oh, that would be how organized you are. Mm. Not in the cleaning of the room aspect. <laughs> But like task, when, when Elaine decides to do something, the task has to be broken down, first established, then broken down to make it easier. Then she has the discipline to go ahead and do it. And after doing it, she has also the discipline to analyze what it meant, what was achieved, and what can be done properly. Like very, very meticulous. Me, on the other hand, I'm a dreamer. If I am an impulsive, I can just think of something or I've been thinking of something for a very long time, and then boom, I want to do it. So mm. it's something I admire. All right, thank you. A lot. Yeah. And you're also, I'm also trying to support you through that. Sometimes when you have to do something, I try to, no? Yeah, yeah she does, she does. <laughs> she does. Okay, a right, right thing I admire in you is the opposite of what you just said. But um, you really know uh, when to rest and how to rest. So you're really good at resting and knowing when to stop and just chill and, you know. I just, I just stop, I'm done. Yeah, you know when it's enough and you also know, like, I'm tired, like, I just need a day to do nothing and you know, watch TV or something yeah. else. I think it's a good example for me to see because I haven't seen that a lot. Like, I'm really like, oh, on the go, doing things all the time. But I really started to appreciate that it's also good to take rest, take care of yourself. Even when you're doing nothing, your activity is resting. That's yeah. like an activity. On its own. Yeah. yeah and you resting don't need is, to and resting defend is, it or Resting is part of productivity. It. Yeah. Yeah. So that's what I admire. Thank you. <laughs> that's what you're teaching me. It's Thank nice you. Now. So yeah, that's uh, our first video for the year. Yes. If this is your first time coming to our channel. Um, Let me know how you brush your teeth. No. <laughs> oh, no, come on. <laughs> or how you do your dishes. <laughs> Please, if this is your first time coming on the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and... Like. Like us. Yes, like the video. If you liked it. Yeah, and uh, we'll catch you in the next one. Hopefully soon, sooner than later. My name is Kwame again and uh, this is... My name is Elaine. Yeah. Dag lieve mensen, tot de volgende keer. Doei! Yeah, no, it's not any of that. <laughs> Bye! <laughs>